Hey guys, NPC here. Today we get double drop rewards for normal missions and hard missions. And in my previous video I showed you the normal missions I farm for gear. So in this video I think I'll show you the characters I would farm for during this double drop event. Please note that these characters are generally good characters and I would also recommend farming for them outside of this event. It's just that getting the double drops on their elves is very valuable. Let's start with the three star characters. First up, we have Hoshino. You can farm her in 7-3 and 11-3 hard. Hoshino is generally a very good tank, however she does need a tier 4 bag before she becomes usable. And in JP, she is still used in PvP, even if the terrain does not favor her. Hoshino is one of the few tanks who is able to survive the hardest content in the game while still pulling her weight in DPS. <laughs> Second on the list is Haruna. You can farm her shards in 8-3 and 12-3. Haruna is a mystic damage dealer that uses a sniper. She is used in some PvP teams, but in my opinion, Haruna shines the most in total assault content. Her EX skill is a 4 cost nuke that can be reduced to 3 cost when you max it out. The issue with it, in my opinion, is that it's just a straight line, so her AoE lacks a little bit. But all in all, Haruna is one of the strongest mystic damage dealers in the game. <laughs> Next up is Shiroko. She is an explosion damage striker that I see as more of a utility character rather than a DPS. You can farm her in 3-3 and 9-3 hard. Going back to what I was saying, her damage isn't horrible in my opinion but her real value comes from her cheap 2 cost EX skill. And EX skill being 2 cost is really nice because you can use it to cycle your abilities and get back to your bigger nukes. Shiroko really shines in those longer fights such as the light armored total assault raids that we'll get later on. Moving on to the 2 stars, first off is Serika. Serika is an explosion damage striker with a kit that's meant for basic attacking. You can farm Serika in 1-3, 7-2, and 9-2 hard. She excels in long fights such as total assault, and even carries in PvE stages like stage 7. Her EX skill is a cheap 2 cost skill like Shiroko, but, but instead her EX skill gives her a really strong steroid. Serika tends to be a really strong side damage dealer in light armored total assault raids and will tend to do a lot more damage than you expect. This is mainly due to all the damage buffs she gets from her kit. Next up is Akari. You can farm Akari in 2-2, 5-3, 9-1, and 11-1 hard. First off, she has a ton of nodes to farm for her shards, so getting her to 3-5 to five stars shouldn't take that long. Like Serika, Akari is a strong basic attacker with the addition of an AoE nuke for her EX skill. This EX skill is a 4 cost skill that is one of the few EX skills I actually consider using for single target even though it's an AoE skill. If anything, I really suggest getting Akari to 3 star because that's when she unlocks her second attack buff and that makes her really powerful. <laughs> Lastly, we have Mutsuki. You can obtain her in 13-2 hard mode currently, and later on she shows up in 16-2. Mutsuki is kind of a sleeper pick because she doesn't really shine in most content. She's kind of average. But in Total Assault, she actually becomes really, really strong. Fights such as this one on the screen. Her normal skill is the main reason why she is really strong in these fights. The AI normally spawns the mines in really bad locations. This causes her to essentially have a pointless normal skill, but in light armored total assault bosses, most of them are kind of close together, so you're able to get multiple mine hits at once, increasing her damage by a lot. Mutsuki is someone I wouldn't farm too hard for, but she's a really nice character to have. <laughs> So these are the 5 hard mode characters I would highly suggest farming for. If you don't have that much energy and don't want to farm all of them, I would prioritize Haruna. She is such an important damage dealer for mystic armored raids 
She's a really strong nuker and she's useful in pretty much all content in the game. Outside of Haruna, Akari and Shiroko are probably my next choices. I like Akari a little bit more than Serika, just because Akari has a more useful EX skill. Yes, yeah, Serika has a really strong 2 cost steroid that lets you cycle the abilities, but I find that Akari's AoE nuke tends to help a lot more, especially if I need multiple AoEs for PvE or something like that. Lastly, let's talk about some of the characters I didn't highlight and go over some of the upcoming characters for the hard mode stages. Junko, Asuna, Haruka, and Pina are all characters I would farm with spare energy, but they aren't really a huge priority. They're really good characters and will improve your account's options, but I find that they lack a bit more later on in the game. Haruka is one of the characters I would highlight though because she's one of the few characters that can tank Iori's EX skill in PvP, which makes her a pretty useful character to have. The main issue with Haruka though is she's a 1 star and she only has one node to farm right now. Later on she gets one in 15-1 hard mode, but that's pretty far away. Junko and Asuna are pretty decent characters for your, for your side teams. Junko shows up in 2-3, 5-2, and 6-3, while Asuna appears in 4-1 and 7-1. Later on you can also get another node for Asuna in 16-1. Pina I feel is near the bottom end of the priority list, mainly because most of you should be able to get Maki soon, and Pina and Maki are very similar in damage, it's just that Maki is more useful. You can have a team that uses both Maki and Pina, that's a pretty viable option, but later on in the game, you don't really use two DPS for total assault raids. The game has been moving towards a single DPS carry with a bunch of supports to boost their damage. However, you can obtain Pina in 4-2, 6-2, and 10-2. I know I skipped some of the characters like Hifumi and Izumi. For those that I skipped, I would say farm them if you like them. However, I would suggest at the very least to farm Haruna at the minimum. Later on, hard modes will contain more key characters like Iori and Chise in Chapter 14, and Tsubaki in Chapter 15. There will be a lot more characters to farm for, and it's better to just get all the early ones out of the way so that you don't need to spend your resources on them and you can work on farming these characters. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and have a nice day. Bye bye.